What? I'm going out to shoot a video in the van about how hot it is and if you need an AC. What? It's not too hot. <laughs> I'm not going to throw up. I promise. Seriously? Just calm down. It's okay. It's not that hot. I'm not going to throw up. Okay? Yeah, it's hot as a mofo. Never fails. Let's go see how hot it is in the van. All right, I've got a little thermometer here. Let's see what it reads. 112. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty warm inside here. Hey y'all, I am Steve and let's set this video up a little bit because we all know you got some cat videos in the queue that you got to go watch after this one. So uh, the question is, does your van need a rooftop AC? Now when I bought the van from Craigslist almost, uh, almost three years ago, it had the rooftop AC already installed. It did not have factory AC. That was uh, kind of a bummer for me, but I looked at them and determined that, you know, well, the trade-off, the trade-off's not bad. I can deal with driving around without factory air coming out of the vents, but I just thought it would be nice for camping and things like that to have that rooftop AC. The brand on the rooftop is a Domatic. I'm not sure of the exact model number, but it is a 3000 BTU rooftop AC. Now I have rewired that AC to work on shore power or my generator through an outlet at the back end of the van. My Honda 3000 generator will power that AC just fine. Um, I do have the inside of the, the van insulated with the first layer of insulation. I think I'm gonna go back over on top of that with Reflectix. But what I wanted to do today is just to show you, I'm gonna turn this rooftop AC on. It's 112 in the van right now. And let's just see what the temperature can drop to and how long it takes to drop. And maybe that will help you formulate a decision or an idea maybe to put a rooftop AC in your own adventure van or regular van if, <laughs> if it's not an adventure van. Just gonna use a cord and plug it into the house today. And right here is where I rewired everything for a generator or shore power. So once I plug it in there, it gives all the outlets and the AC inside power. Okay, we're all plugged in, we're off and running. AC is blowing. I'm gonna shut the van up and come back in about 45 minutes and we'll just check it out, see what our temperature is on the inside. Okay, I've had it on for just under an hour. Let's see how we're looking. We're at 71 degrees and it literally feels like you could hang meat in here. It's super cold. Okay, there you go. That was a pretty good test. Right now it is nice and chilly inside that van. I think you can see the reason that I so much enjoy the rooftop AC on mine. Should you get one for yours? Well, you know, I don't know, but I sure love mine. Uh, super cools your van, and if it's a hot night, you know, you'll definitely need a sleeping bag and covers to stay warm, and that's the way I like to sleep. I like to sleep cold. so. It was definitely good for me to have that option on the van. These aren't very expensive. You can actually pick these units up for $600 or less, brand new on Amazon. And the installation is not that hard either. You basically cut a hole 
in the top of your van you mount it and then you just get power to it however you can and they're very easy to wire now I did have one technical issue that I wanted to tell you about during the test <clears throat> when I fired it up and started it up I noticed that the compressor I could hear the compressor kicking on and kicking off and I that was kind of weird to me I couldn't figure out what was going on with it so what I did is I let my superior brain kick in and do the work for me and I figured it out now the fact that I have a superior brain should trigger someone watching this video and if I did trigger you please let me have it in the comments we want to uh, want to see how many people we can trigger but anyway what I determined is I used a very long extension cord and it is a small gauge and I went in I just happened to check the the cord inside and the cord was super hot and I thought you know what do the outside heat and do the fact that this cord is way long and it's small gauge that compressor is pulling so much current that it can't work properly with this small gauge so I had to stop the test and I went down to Lowe's and I got a much higher you see the difference I got a shorter cord and a larger gauge this is a 12 gauge I'm not sure what this is this is probably I don't know 16 gauge something like that but the trick is use shorter cords higher gauge thing worked like a champ when I did that so I'm actually glad that I did this test because I would hate to be somewhere camping only to discover that I had a bad or the wrong type of uh, extension cord trying to run that AC unit and then have a miserable hot weekend all right so I'm just about finished talking here remember in the video where I said pay attention and I listed that little known fact about me so many people's already clicked off so you don't have to worry about them if you mention that little known fact about me in the comment section I'll pick a comment out of all of them that do mention it and I will send you a an extremely valuable adventure outdoors sticker okay all right I appreciate you watching I hope you learned something today maybe I helped you decide whether to put a rooftop AC on there or not and since I'm going to cough my way out of this video, let's shut it down and I will see all of y'all again real soon.